10 years ago, I got a call from my mother that my 47 year old sister had died. At the time when we got the autopsy, no one had survived. SCADS. She died from SCADS, and we didn't even know what the heck it was. So, SCAD is a type of heart attack or acute coronary syndrome when it, instead of a plaque rupturing, which is the standard heart attack, the artery actually splits, so the layers split, and when they split, there can be pain, there can be blockage of flow, and resulting heart attack or even sudden death. I thought I was having a panic attack. And about 4 o'clock that afternoon, they did a stress test, and within probably 30 minutes, I was transferred to ICU to a hospital in Nashville. And the doctor said, um, uh, I got the autopsy report. I said, no, well, okay, well, what is it? And he goes, your wife didn't have any cholesterol. She wasn't overweight, wasn't a drinker, wasn't a smoker. And he just went through this list of wasn'ts. Didn't have one ounce of plaque in any of her arteries. Well, what caused, what caused us to lose the most important person of our, in our lives? He said, ah, we'll probably never find out what caused it. So right now, um, Mayo Clinic is doing a number of types of research. One, we're looking at um, kind of a retrospective view of all patients who have um, come to Mayo Clinic for, uh, for SCAD. And that's a, a very rich group of patients because we have a lot of data on them. We have imaging and their medical records. But then we've expanded this virtual registry, so you don't have to be a Mayo Clinic patient. And we have uh, over 200 individuals who sent in their records and we're analyzing all their medical records, a personal story, their angiograms, their CTs. And then we have a third aspect right now, which is collecting DNA from both patients with SCAD and their parents. I'm a pretty good organizer. I said, I'll organize my town of Scottsdale. Maybe you get another guy, he'll organize somewhere in Iowa. Some guy will do Illinois. Somebody, you know, you get all these little towns, we'll put it together, we'll have a network. This is also the tip of the iceberg here in Naperville because there are people walking in England, there are people walking in Denver, there are people walking virtually by themselves on a treadmill in honor of today so they can do their scab walk. So um, it is sort of a solidarity for a rare disease. My biggest hope is awareness of the SCAD, because a lot of people don't know about it. And secondly, my big hope is that um, we can find a cure, find a way to stop this from claiming these young people.